Hello and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the RDA, this is your United vs Brentford match preview and which is also the aftermath of the, the Villa performance, obviously Mr Maloto isn't with us there, so you know before we get into the Brentford game, um, smash a like, subscribe, but also Maloto, just brief thoughts on the, your reactions of the Villa game. My reaction, look, I, I didn't cast a second off. I uh, couldn't watch it. So you didn't catch the, first the important half. I got the good bits. <laughs> I got the good bits. <laughs> you know? And my reaction before doing uh, watching uh, the bit I didn't catch and listening to reaction stuff was a very sad one, you know? Because, like, <laughs> when will it end? <laughs> when will this nightmare end, you know? And, like, maybe you're right. Maybe we should just give up, you know? Just mm. uh, just lock the door, throw away the keys, you know? Mm. Turn the towel. <sighs> Might as well. Might as well. But then I watched a bit of the game. Um, I listened to React Nick speak. I listened to people react to it. And you might not agree. My biggest take is that we need a new midfield. Like, we need to clean house this midfield. Mm. Because the midfield is the engine of the team. And ours is dog shit. We don't have an engine. It we is, actually don't have an engine. It's rubbish. Yeah. Yeah, oh my gosh. It's rubbish, you know. Because first half, we were set up pretty well, you know. We were very narrow. We were very compact. They couldn't play through us. On the ball, we look like we had good control. I haven't seen us try to control a game like that. But second half, it just fell apart, you know. <laughs> it just fell apart, you know. And I think it's the combination of things, you know. Uh, I think Villa brought on more ball-playing players. And then I think maybe we lost the legs in the midfield. And I just feel like uh, Matic and Fred just couldn't handle it. I mean, I saw one of the goals. I think Coutinho's goal, where Matic was directly at fault for it, you know. So... We need, we need better midfielders, you know. And I feel like it was a direct result of us not being able to control the game anymore. That's we started sinking a bit more. And then I feel like Scott, it was a, a, a Scott, wow. I feel like Fred and, and Matic were a bit more vulnerable, you know. And I feel like from Ratnik's point of view, the argument could be if we need more control, why didn't he bring on Donny? You know, he didn't bring on Donny, right? If I'm he not brought him out for two minutes. Yeah, you see, why didn't he bring on Donny, you know? Because if you want control, if you want to move forward with the ball, you know, if you want to relieve pressure from yourself defensively, you bring on Don, you know. Yeah. But the other side of that, Don is not a defensive midfielder. That's that's the argument, you know. He, he's not. The argument Fred is, is not a neither is Fred, neither is Scott. We don't. Yeah, really neither is Fred, neither is Scott, neither is Matic. Yeah. So I think well, the underlying point here is, is that we have no CDM. Yeah. We have no CDM at this club, you know. And I heard him speak about considering going to the back five, and I heard. Atlantis football talk about maybe the back five will us. So I'm thinking maybe we should go back five now. Maybe it's time to do that. You know? Uh, uh you know, if we go back five, I, I don't know. For me, it's just it is like delete the club. Just fucking delete the club. A useless club, you know? But um, it is what it is. Um, but, anyways, we have to move forward. We have to go to Brentford, who actually do play a back five. And. I've been av trying to avoid this game because I really don't think this game is going to help us in any shape or form. I think this is going to be a very difficult game for United just because of the way Brentford play and Brentford set up. Obviously, they haven't been as good lately, but I still think that they could cause a problem. You know, with United, all of a sudden, Brentford are back to their best they have been this season. You know, for, for context, Brentford have only won one game in their last five. So it's pretty bad form for them. But watch when they, but watch when we play them on Wednesday, and all of a sudden, oh, it's prime Barcelona again. All of a sudden, it's prime Barcelona again, just because we are so bad. So we're gonna get into this team on my left. But before we get into that team on my left, I know lots of people are gonna be asking lots of questions about the team. I'm not expecting this team to play, but I'll get into the team later. How do you expect this game to go down? Look, Brentford on Villa, you know, they're on. So I feel like. It's one of those games where if we turn up, we can win this game, you know, and we get a reaction, happy vibes again. But sadly, but United, maybe the next game will we'll mess up. But let's not get too, ahead of, too far ahead of ourselves, you know. But we can win this game because Brentford aren't great. Mm -hmm. They're languishing around the relegation zone, if I'm not mistaken. If not... They're 14th. Fucking rubbish. Best position, honestly. And, yeah, I just think... Um, they're a team we can beat if we, we just we just do the things right. We just do the right things. But you know that midfield is just worrying. It's just worrying, honestly. And how do you fix it? I guess the argument is at least give Donny a try. 
you know, at least give Donnie a try and let's just see what happens, you know. But it seems like Ali had written him off and it seems like Ratnik has written him off now, you know. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm an advocate for giving him time, you know, but it kind of seems like maybe other departments we can give him time, but then it's it's pretty straightforward that it won't work in this midfield because it's just not good enough, you know. Like, <laughs> he's not a magician, you know. He's not going to transform average players into top four players, you know. So, uh, going forward, I think maybe the checkbook needs to come out and he needs to make his signings this January. No, but for this game, yeah. but for this specific game, I am thinking maybe we do try the back five, honestly. And maybe that's the way to go. Yeah, you might as well just support another team at this point because, yeah, it's so dead. So dead. Back five? Yeah, guys, I can't. I can't yeah. get the back five. I cannot. Especially because especially we're going to drop Maguire in the back five. Nah, nah, fam. Just, just, just end the game. Give them three points. Don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. It's awful. I don't know. No, Chelsea play it and they play with bring back. You know, yeah, so Terrence Tuchel play. is in the mud, fam. He hasn't won a game for who knows how long at Chelsea now. Dead manager. Dead. You know, I'm not having back true, five true. at United. Maybe at other teams. But United, no. 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 I'd hate the back five. You know, if Conte was there, the only guy I trust at the back five. Anyone else? Don't care. Don't have the players. I don't want to play a back five. So, it is what it is. I, sh- I just... Okay. Uh, okay, I tell you what formation you think we should play there. With the players we have. Diamond. I've always said it's the diamond. Always the diamond for me. You just... You compact that midfield. You make that midfield. You just put players in that midfield because it's so weak that we don't lose it. Mm-hmm. And everywhere else is fine. So, the back mm-hmm. four you play is fine. I've always said you play the diamond. Bruno is in a natural position. You can play Sancho there. You can play a Pogba or Donny there. Then you won't be as defensive. And you can then play a Fred there because it won't be as highly responsible. You can play Matic. It won't be as much energy required, especially when you have three other midfielders in front of you. You know, So, for me, it was always the diamond. It was always the diamond. Ralph said it. When you moved to the diamond with Donny, he controlled the midfield. Why did he not go and follow that again? Who knows? Who knows why Donny? He doesn't do that. So, it's just a... Uh, just hypocriting himself, isn't it, Ralph? That's what, uh, that's what I'm okay, disappointed okay, no, no, no. with, Ralph. Can I ask this, though? But for, for like, in-game formation or in-play, wh- how much of a difference is there between the diamond and what we've done, like, a 4 2 2 2 Well, one, this is way narrower than a diamond. It's not supposed to be as narrow as it is, but for some reason, these guys don't play with width, or when they do play with width, they play with too much width, and then there's just holes in the midfield. Fred and Scott, they clearly don't know what their roles are because they're either way too forward and defensively they're not there. So it's all coaching problems, you know. It's just, I don't know what Ralph shows them with this whole video analysis, but there's basic problems with this team and it's still not fixed. So I don't know. I don't know what goes on at United. I'm just, what I watch is a joke. It is honestly a joke. It's the worst footballing style in the Premier League. Nobody plays worse than Manchester United in the league. That's for sure. Nobody's worse than United. In terms of the way we actually play football in the league, so it is what it is. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the back five because you know we've always been a club with wingers and attack and play, you know, and that's what we want, you know. But I just feel like with the third centre back, we we'll get better defensive cover and maybe we can work on um, getting Dallo and Telles to be more expressive, you know. Yeah, man, it'll suit them for sure. But then again, whenever we do play back fives, it's hella defensive. We never go with an offensive back five. And even then, we, we like never ever see crosses into the box. Ollie, so we just wasted Ollie. our time. That's all, you know. It, it's, it's a back three, actually. Uh, we, back five was, was wrong. It's a back three. But the back three. Ollie's but then, back five. Well, then we're playing Maguire <laughs> in there. And you know how I feel about Maguire. You play Maguire, I don't care who's around him. You're asking for a problem. You are asking for a problem when Maguire walks back into the team. So that's just how I feel. I said it with regards with players like Fred, Maguire, Scott McTominay, Rashford's. They're going to let you down. At some point, they will let you down. They will cost you a goal at some point. Or they will cost you winning the game in the, in the other side of the field. So, that's just what I feel. And I've been proven time and time again, every week, it's one of those names that always let the team down. Every week, it's one of those names. So, let's just see what happens. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see I think it's possible because he's never. we've never started with it, but his name dropped a lot of times. And now my camera's doing his thing. But his name the, dropped the back five a couple of times. He said in games that... I, once we did uh, change the back five when we saw through the game. A lot of times he said, you know, maybe we should have played the back five. It's, too pra- it's almost like Ralph is way too pragmatic also. Like, every time we bossed, like that first half, we bossed, uh, we bossed the game. We played well. Right, then we went 2-0 up. Even 1-0 up. It was just like, so defensive afterwards, you know. It was too defensive. 
And the difference was also, Villa bought a midfielder. We didn't buy a midfielder. Why did Villa get a point? They bought a midfielder. His name is Philip Coutinho. They got a point. That's what the Glazers did to do. Buy us a midfielder. Let Ralph use that midfielder. Because Scott and Fred will never be good enough for United. And we probably see out that game. That is as simple as that. It's the opposite way. I think, in a weird way, what we saw was an attempt from him not to be too defensive, you know? Because, as he, what he spoke about after the game, he said he wanted to go to the back five because he felt like, you know, we're under the cart a little. And if he puts in a third defender, we might see it through. But he decided not to do that because of the message it was sent. The problem is, Scott and Matches specifically, they run the oh, legs. Fred. Thus, they can't retain the ball as much. Thus, we can't get the ball to the four players. Thus, we start sinking, you know? So, it's a kind of a domino effect, you know? And... The simplest solution would have been to put Donny on, you know, because it's more legs and he's good on the ball, you know. So, yeah, he's to blame, to be honest. I feel like... That's what I'm saying. Ralph is is 100% to blame for that last game. 100%. Why Donny did not come on early, even the second half? Everyone said, I put out a tweet and everyone agreed with me. He preaches control in the midfield. And he watched that first half performance from Fred and the whole team was generally okay and doing well. And he decided... Yeah, Fred, is, Fred is controlling the midfield. Bullshit. Yeah. As, as, <laughs> as Gobich talked about him being naive, and maybe so, because I think he maybe underestimated um, the fact that Vela could come back, you know. And I understand, I understand the argument for him saying that Donny can't start because maybe he's not good enough defensively, you know, and maybe he thinks Fred is better. Mm. He thinks Matt is better, you know. But the fact that he doesn't make substitutions is, is ridiculous because that's how you change games, you know. Mm. So yeah, maybe that's why I'm saying we back five because in that sense, maybe Donny can start because we have a third centre back, you know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, maybe that's uh, that's one way to look at it. But I still don't think we would pick Donny then. But uh, we're gonna get into this team now. We're gonna get into this team now because it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna be playing against the back five this game, and you know how United are with the back five stories. You know, us you yeah, and to break down low blocks. It's shy out. Yeah. It really is shy out. Yeah. So in goal. The hair, there's no problem. Once again, a man of the match performance, and he conceded two goals last game. So I got no problems with Mr. David the hair. The back four is very interesting because for once I thought Tellez completely went to another level that Luke Shaw hasn't actually gone to in that game. So I'd keep Tellez just based on the fact that also I would like my wingers to attack a little bit more. I think Shaw can't do that, but I think you know if you're giving people based on their performances. Tellers does deserve to play. But if Luke Shaw comes back, I'm not going to complain. I like Luke Shaw. You know, I really like Luke Shaw. So it don't matter. It doesn't matter to me. For me, it has to be Varane and Le- Victor Lindelof. Now, I don't know what Ralph says. Ralph says that Maguire is the captain of the team and he will remain the captain of the team as long as he's playing. But then he was asked... Yeah, yeah. He did say that. And then he was asked about Maguire not starting the game. He said, well, Maguire is still, you know, he hasn't been training. But that's a lie because he's been training the whole week before the game. So he did drop Maguire last game. He did drop Maguire last game. So let's see if he does that. If he does that, I'll play Ralph. So I'd keep the back four. And I'd obviously still play Diego Delo because he's just been better this season there on Masaka. So that would be my back line. With just either a coin flip between Taylor's and Luke Shaw. Mm, okay. yeah. I'm just hoping that... This... <laughs> we heard about Marcia. I was suspecting that's a lie. Now I'm not alive with Maguire. I just hope this, will come a, this doesn't become a thing, you know. But, yeah, no, if we did drop Maguire, thank the heavens. Thank the heavens, yeah. Thank the heavens. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And, yeah, now I'm cool with Victor and Varane, you know, because I'm over here, Maguire. And Tellez, I do get this feeling that he does prefer Tellez and Dalo, you know? He's just maybe waiting for the rest of the team to start gelling more. So yeah. he, then he feels like he can let loose a little bit, you know? But... We'll see, we'll see. After we drop points, maybe you will be scared and go for the more defensively solid fullback. Yeah, like I said, if you want to see out the game then, what you should do, if you turn all up, and you do have Luke Shaw on the bench, last time he wasn't on the bench, bring Luke Shaw on, you know, defensively yeah, you can trust, bring like... on a Donny, there it is, you know, close it up. GG, see you in the next game then, Ralph, you know. You can trust those two players, so. What I feel like, you know, Ralph... I, I, I can imagine he's a very good a very good manager, you know, because what people have spoken about him and the way he speaks, he sounds like he knows what he's talking about. But I don't know if I want to call it rust or indecisiveness. I call it two. the Glazers and United hierarchy influence is what I call it. Ralph so? is not in charge of this team. Ralph has no power, real power over this team, I'm telling you. 
That's why Maguire's will walk back in. Rashford will walk back in because Ralph got no power. Ralph wants a midfielder. The Glazers don't want to give him a midfielder. No manager is going to come in and have power at United. That's always in the contract. That's why we didn't get Conte. Otherwise, if we were a real footballing club, Conte would have been our manager right now. Right here. And it would have been end of story. I hear you, but I just don't think it goes that far. To you. It goes I mean, that far. To... Why have we not fucking done anything under the Glazers? Why? There's only one real problem at United. Upstairs. It's always going to be upstairs. You can get oh, any yeah, manager like... you want. Get any players you want. I'll tell you this now, and I'll tell you it again. In five years, in two years, however long it may be, we will go nowhere with this ownership. And that's the real problem. You know, I agree with you. And I agree that well, in terms of signings, maybe they do get in the way. Maybe we don't have the best departments. But in terms of the, P, the team they pick, I don't know. I'm telling. I just feel like I'm telling. I yeah, no ways they spend eighty million on a Harry Maguire and they love a boy Marcus Rashford to sit on the bench because they're not performing. They're gonna be like, no, we need impressions. Those are our poster boys. Why are they not playing? Same reason with Paul Pogba. You think they care about how Pogba performs? No, but because he's an influence player and he's a poster boy, we need to keep Pogba at all costs. That's how they work. It's yeah, not about the football. Of... It's all about the cash, I interaction, and brand. They're protecting the their part. brand. You know, when you don't play Marcus Rashford, how much it affects the brand? It affects it a lot because Marcus Rashford is the poster boy. He's Dr. Marcus, MBE, Rashford, who ends child poverty around the world. You need him on the field. I'm telling you. Give Rashford a drop, though. You know? Yeah, he got dropped. yeah but he can't get dropped forever. That's the thing. He can't get dropped forever. To be honest, sir. Maguire can't I get dropped forever. I'm telling you, it goes that far. I'm not. I'm not trying to give you conspiracy. I'm telling you, this is how it is at United. I'm telling you, there's reasons for McFred's all these shite, useless English players playing in this team consistently. I'm telling. You. Okay, okay, okay. But with the McFred one, dude, Donny is a good player, but like Donny isn't a CDM. Neither is isn't. Fred. Neither is Scott. He's ten times the player that Scott will ever be. He's ten times the player that Fred will ever be. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like you're telling me. So you're telling me you're gonna pick Fred over Donny? You, no, no, you're dumb. No, no. You're dumb. No, no. I'm telling you now. You're dumb if you do that. <laughs> I would play Donny, and that's for me uh, watching on TV and seeing the little I don't see in training. You know, but don't care what it, things, I'm telling you. The whole Donny not trading all thing is a myth. Because for Brits, you know, every journalist say it's not him know. trading bad. Donny's Donny player. is better but, than Fred. He is better than Scott. He deserves to play over them. Maybe this attribute that, that, that Fred has and the Scott what? has. What? What? Attributes? <laughs> I'm trying to get in the head of the manager because I kind of feel he like... He doesn't have one, a mind, dude. Agree. He doesn't have a one, mind. Listen, listen, listen. One, I don't agree that the board is telling our manager to play McFred. I mean, like, it's not like that big of a brand. That no, it's not, no that, that's not on the board now. Now we're going to the yeah. deeper, where it's like Fletcher's. You know, it's the little cliques in the team. That's nah, part of dude, them now. Nah, who who dude, gives Ralph his job? You dude, know who gives Ralph his job? Darren Fletcher. Darren Fletcher is technical director of Manchester United. You know who he has to answer to? The Glazers. Who picks his job? Who picks the next manager? Darren Fletcher. Who who yeah, is Darren who Fletcher close that? to? Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Who's Oli Gunnar Solskjaer's favorite place? McFred. What were, who who had a conversation? One hour conversation with Oli before he came in the job? Ralph Ragnick. Ralph is influenced badly at this club. I'm telling you. For me, watching Ralph's press conferences, he looks like a pretty honest guy. And I feel like if such was happening, he's honest. Maybe he won't say directly. But I'm telling you now, like he doesn't have the power the that he should have. I'm telling you, he doesn't have the power that he should I have. I honestly think, and this is my honest opinion, I think he thinks the whole midfield is shite in terms of balance. And he feels like, in terms of balance, the best he's got out of the shite is McFred. I think that's what's going on here. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm not going to change your mind, but. I'm, I have seen enough of United. I've watched United my whole life. I have not missed a game in 10 years. I have know how this club is run inside and out. And I'm telling you, there's always problems and always side factors of things happening at this club for a reason. And we're going to have to touch Martial, but Martial is the one of the perfect examples of it. Pogba's a good example of it, you know, so let's just see what happens. But um, yeah, in terms of the midfield, I don't fucking play Donny. Fuck Fred. Useless performance last game. Costed us the game last game. Donny, no one is going to ever change my mind that Donny is way better than Fred or Scott could ever be in their life. Scott and Fred will never even touch a Ballon d'Or nomination, ever, in their life. They wouldn't come top 100, they wouldn't come top 200. They are that trash at football. Donny was there. Who's been playing? So. Who's been playing? 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 Who's been playing?
Who's been playing more between Fred Scott, and Scott? No, Scott. Scott is 100%. And Matthews. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. And Matthews. Scott, still Scott. Scott is. But I feel like Matthews has been playing way more recently. No, I think Scott is 100% Ralph's favorite. He said Scott hey. can be a captain in a few years, and I was just like, oh, God, here we go. Yeah, we go with the is whole it? nonsense again. <laughs> that's, it, that's it again. That's it again. I just feel like all these managers can't be wrong. I'm not saying... Maybe they're all wrong, but then I'm not saying that there's favorite. I'm saying there's no favoritism. They see something that they want to develop, you know? I just feel like with the ones... with no, specifically no. McTominay, I'm not going to really slate Scott that much. Because to be fair to Scott, he's been way better than he has been under Ali. Or like, you know, he's been... If out of anyone, out of them, bar Donny... He's been the best player between Fred and Matic and Scott. He's been the best, better of them, or as those three. So, don't mind Scott really that much. Okay, okay, okay. So one of them, I don't mind. One of them, I don't mind playing. But one of Fred or Scott, every game has to get dropped for Okay, Donnie. okay, okay. So, let's put it like this. We're playing Scott, because Scott's been the best. Hmm. Who plays next to him? Donny. Is Donny, is he good enough defensively yes. to cover for Scott? Better than Fred. Way better than Fred. Way better than Fred. <laughs> And the other problem is, you know why we don't lose games? It's not because of the defensive, also the defensive work. Because Fred can't do it anyways, regardless. We don't control midfields because Fred doesn't know what to do yeah, with the point. ball. Donny knows what to yeah, do with the ball. He knows how to fucking pass the ball. Scott doesn't know how to pass the ball. <laughs> so Donny is needed. Ideally, I would love Pogba think... back. But Donny is way better than Fred or Scott could ever be in midfield. He's a midfielder. I don't think Scott and Fred the... are pretenders. That's what they are. They are pretenders. I feel like... Specifically in the eyes of Ragnik, I feel like he feels like one, maybe Fred can cover more ground, and two, he probably thinks Fred is slightly better defensively than Donny, and he probably thinks Matic of the same. That's why they play over Donny. And I kind of feel like that game, I think against Young Boys, where he had a howler. No, he played well, but then defensively he passed the opposition and they scored. I feel like that's a big influence on Donny. You know what else is also a big influence? Fred getting passed by fucking Tyron Mings in midfield. That's a big fucking influence. Yeah, we have. A problem at this club, going back to the hierarchy, is that instead of building the squad, we have no balance. We have no balance whatsoever. Don is a good player, but it doesn't work with the rest of the midfield, you know? And that needs to change. That needs to change. And that's we need like two new midfielders in January. That's what needs no, to happen. No, no, you need like you need definitely support. two midfielders. For me, I just need one. Give me a CDM. I tell Scott and Fred to go to Ipswich. Don't care. Go to Ipswich. I'd rather play with Note. If someone is like Scott and Fred in midfield, or you can play two man short. Give me two man short. I, I honestly, that's how bad I think they are. And that's how bad they cost us games. Every week, week in, week out. It's one of the fuckheads that cost us games every week. So, no, thank you. They can both get lost. Donny all day for me. will never change. He's a, he's a way better baller than Donny, Amin, and Fred, and Scott McTominay. Nobody will. Who are you actually saying Scott McTominay and Fred are better than Donny Van Der Beek? Ah, shut up. Shut up. You know, it is what it is. So. Uh, hopefully we see him... Um you know the, this next game. Yeah. You know? I'm hopeful that. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Let me stop. Yeah, let me stop leaving in GM land. You know. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully, Ralph. He'll never pick Donny. He's not going to pick Donny this weekend. I'm just saying, if you want, if Ralph is serious, you pick Donny this week. There's no way you mm. preach control. Say Donny control the midfield in the midfield, and you watch Fred for 90 minutes, and then Fred costed you that game because of your naivety. And don't pick Donny this game. That's uh That's disrespectful. That's really disrespectful to Donny. So yeah. What, what are you going to do if Ten Hag comes in <laughs> and first game he's playing McFred? I'm going to support Newcastle. Can I, help you? <laughs> I support Newcastle. Because Ten Hag will learn as well. Ten Hag will learn as well then. <laughs> they all learn. Who like, let go? Oh, Oli, Oli, Oli. Uh, pick, pick Fred. Let's see. I was like, what did I say? McFred is going to cost Oli his job. Ooh, okay. Nice. Where's Oli now? Working at Tesco's. Nice. Same with Ralph. Ralph will go at Tesco's also if he keeps playing with Fred. I'm telling you now, you go get a midfielder or you start using your other midfielders because Mick Fred don't work. Break them apart. One of them is okay. The other one needs to pass a ball because they both can't pass the ball. That's the problem. They both can't pass the ball. So we need one to at least pass the ball. Whether it's even dropping Bruno deeper and Donny can play up forward because you're that worried about Donny defensively. Do it. There is no excuse to not break up Mick Fred. Zero excuse. It's just lazy. That's what it is. It's lazy. So, McFred has to be broken up for me. I always say that every week. Don't care if they scored a hat trick. I tell you now, they'll cost you something in the long run. They will cost you. They will cost you. Just like Maguire. Just like the other English players. They were gonna cost you. They will cost. It's in their mentality to bottle it. Didn't Fred assist Bruno or something? Yeah, he did. Where did that get us? 
That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying, you know. That's, you know, I, that's what I'm saying. Where did they get? Did you get three spikes? Are we sitting in fourth? No, we're sitting in seventh. That's where we sit. That's exactly where we sit. Mm. So, yep. In the argument, what else? What else? You can tell me if it's gonna go. Did we win the game? No. So what's that's the problem? Did he control the midfield? No. Did we, do we ever win midfields? No. Oh really? What's the main fact every week? McCray. So that's all I'm missing. What the heck? And I get that. And I, I, as I said, I agree that I missed the shot, you know. But I just don't know if the solution is in playing. I hope I'm not saying he's the solution. Play. I'm not saying he's going to fix it. But he will do it better. It will be better. And then the no, fans no, also, they won't be as disappointed. Because now you know, Donny, he won't be able to fix it 100% of the time. And we will understand that. But if we start seeing better performances, we'll be like, he's doing his best. He's picking his best players. And even if it doesn't work, we know Ralph in his, is doing everything in his powers to try to do his best. And we can see that. Playing McFred, doing what Oli does, is that something new? Because Oli got fired for doing the same thing Ralph is really doing. So what's the point, you know? That's what I'm saying. So. That's good. That's yeah. good. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Um, then obviously, up front, Bruno, fantastic fantastic game so Bruno has to come back I hope Bruno can keep it up you know Bruno's performance is really good even without the goals Bruno was really good that game without the goals even so Bruno I'd pick him still I really hope Sancho is good to go this game and I think he will be so for me Jaden Sancho can come back in Mason has played a lot of games recently Rashford has been absolutely shocking if I see Rashford I'm losing my head this weekend because Rashford also doesn't deserve to come Rashford needs to come off the bench and prove himself in a performance that's how Rashford gets back in the team so for me Jaden Sancho should play. Even though I don't even know what... Sancho's also a weird one. We're not getting the best out of Sancho. But yeah, I just pick Sancho because I probably trust him more in terms of creativity and holding the ball. I don't know. I agree. And I think Bruno, it's good to have... Okay, I'm not saying say Bruno back, but in that one game, you know, it looked like Bruno... Yeah, that was Bruno. That was prime Bruno. That, that last game was prime Bruno. I'm happy about that. And I honestly think if Sancho and Ronaldo had played... We probably would have won that game in the first game. I also game. think so. Yeah. I think if... Well, not, not even just Sancho. I was just hoping Ronaldo because those chances Greenwood had and Ilanga had. Right? Yeah. I'm just like, if that's Ronaldo, man, he's getting begging a hat trick today. Yeah. yeah. You know? So it's a shame, you know? But, you know, yeah, I think definitely Sancho. Mason, he's been okay, but then I don't think he's end product. No, I, th- I think he's been good, but I don't think he's been getting the goals or the assists. But I think he's been like good mm. with the team, and I think now he just needs a break. You know, it's not it's not dropping Mason. He can come back in again, but let's just you know mm. we can drop Mason for Jaden Sancho because Sancho is not it's not a bad play to replace him with, is it? So yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's just what I think. And then oh yeah, we go. Ah oh, yeah, we go. Ralph Ragnick, the liar, shall we call him? Ralph the liar. Anthony Martial doesn't want to trade. Doesn't want to be with the squad. That's why he didn't come and travel with the squad. Otherwise, he would have played today. Interesting. Nobody thought of anything. Everyone was abusing Martial, being racist towards Martial. Get out of my club, sell him. Martial comes out. I would never refuse to play for this club. I would never disrespect its fans, and it's not true. Now you make you tell me who you stand with. You can stand with Ralph. Or you can stand with Martial. Now, if you hate Martial. You're obviously gonna stand with Ralph, and then if you yeah. have, if, yeah, I can hear you. And if you like Martial, you're gonna stand with Martial. But what I do know now is somebody's lying, and what I do know now is also Martial's not injured, he's not not on a train, he's not not wanting to travel with the squad, so there is no reason why Martial is not allowed to be a part of this team and not to play games. Why does he want to leave? Because he wants game time. Ralph. The ball is in your court, my boy, because I tell you now, I trust Martial way more than you. Martial has given me trophies, he's given me moments. You have been here for two seconds. I trust Martial way more than your ass Cavani, who also wants to leave, by the way. But you love up his ass. I wonder why you love up Cavani's ass. But he still wants to leave, but you don't want to trust Martial for a game or two. Ball's in Ralph's court. I'd play Anthony Martial. I'm not going to take sides here. I just feel like um, there's a misunderstanding here, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, I just Ralph, Ralph doesn't strike me as a liar. I mean, why would you lie? Oh, he's lying. Oh, he's lying through his fucking white teeth right now. Oh, he's lying left, right, and center. Whether it's Maguire, Martial, club statements. Oh, he's on strings. This is what the Glazers are doing to him. Because this ain't Ralph. The Glazers are doing this with him, left, right, and center. I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. The higher ups are on strings. Maybe... Maybe Tony didn't directly say that, but at the same time, if a player has made it completely clear, I don't want to, I don't want to be part of this project. 
What do you do? So like a van. No, but so like a van. No, so like a van. I want to leave. I'm not happy at Come Manchester. He has. He has. No, no, no. He has. He said, I'm not happy in Manchester. My family is not happy in Manchester. I want to go to Uruguay, but I'm going to be a professional. That? From Cavani's mouth. From Cavani's mouth. From Cavani's mouth. Ah. From Leaks in what the Journalist. But because what it's Cavani, you because you like Cavani, it's all okay. But if Tony does no, it, fuck off. No, it's off. completely different. Fuck it's completely off. different. What I heard from my manager and from Fabrizio retweeting it is that Cavani said, um, I want to be here, I will play this season, then we will decide in the summer. Yeah, because so he signed a year project. contract. He did sign a year contract. Because they were like so yeah. desperate to keep him. But Cavani wants to leave, and he still wants to leave. If Cavani he could go to does. Uruguay now, he will go. He probably does, he probably does. But he said, I will commit myself to this year, then we will decide. So, Jerry is still out. Marshall has said, I want to go, plain and simple. You know, He doesn't want to be part of Manchester United. Anymore. Simple as that. So you still play Cavani over Marshall? No, Cavani who said to I you that know. I want to leave. I love that. Oh, yeah, I, I, I yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all, it's all, all fun and games, but because his name is Anthony Marshall, not Marcus Rashford, not Cavani, let's all treat him as the bad guy. Let's I, I skip code Martial. Anthony Marshall. Tell me, why does Marshall want to leave? Tell me why. Look, he doesn't play. It's as simple as that. Yeah. They tell him but. if we play him and we tell him, we give him the faith. Because I said it in my Martial show. How badly has Martial been disrespected at United? After every good That's season, true. all of a sudden Ibrahimovic comes. Give him the number nine, strip him off his shirt, drop him. Then he has another good season. Starts lighting it up again. What happens? Cavani comes, make him the main striker, drop Martial. I if I was Martial, I'd be like, fuck you guys. Words about Martial. I, want he said I don't blame Martial. He made it Yeah, no, it, it's a difficult one, but like, I just feel like I'd have a conversation with Martial, you know, now, you know, to solve the situation, I'd have a conversation with Martial, similar to the one we hear that he had with Cavani and say, just give me to the end of the season. And then, then in the summer, when transfers are easier, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out, you know, and get a good deal for both you and the club, as they keep saying, you know. Yeah, I mean, I just feel like Martial. You can Tony for the last time, you know. I feel like Martial is highly disrespected by this club, so I'd love to see Martial. I don't think there's any reason why not to give Martial a chance. And I do think that if you give him his chance, it's up to Martial to take it, whether you want to take it or not now, you know. It's either you take your chance, you play really well, then you're forced to pick Martial and then all things could be well. Or you just like, you play, you up the team and just like, I still want to leave at the end of the season. It is what it is, you know. Not It's not the first player who would, would do that, you know. Lots of United players have done that, you know. Even Ronaldo, he was like, give me one more year, I'll play for the team, whatever. We won everything, and then I went to Madrid. It's just how it is. Yeah. Yeah, so let's just give him, give him a chance. But what I do know now is, like I said, there's no reason why Marshall shouldn't be in the squad. That's what I do know now. So if I don't see Marshall in the squad, or Ralph, I'm, if I had, if I could have a word with you, it's, it's through the table. Is what it is. It's through the table. I'm putting you through the table. Yeah. I can imagine he probably didn't say Derek doesn't want to play. You know, as he loves the club, as he's made it clear from. Um, his tweet. I think it was a tweet. Instagram, but I just think yeah. he's probably just angry at the club now. You know, he feels like no like matter Pogba. what, like Pogba. That's done. what I think. It's just it's just done. Like you know, like it's like yeah. new manager comes in. He's like, yeah, good luck, good luck with your your job. But I want out. This club is a mess. I want out. So let's just yeah. see how it is. So. And then obviously, Mr. Cristiano Ronaldo. Hey, we've been missing Mr. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, anyone thought he was the problem? Anyone thought we played better without him? Yeah, I hope you're happy now. Because <laughs> we've been suffering up front without Cristiano Ronaldo. I can't wait for him to be back. I hope, I think he will be back. He's been posting pictures, you know, he's relaxing and all that stuff. He said it's a hip flexor thing. He trained a little bit, but he wasn't like quite ready to train, so they just didn't train him. But I'm really hoping Ronaldo's back for this game because, oh, we need Ronaldo. We really desperately need Cristiano Ronaldo. So, hope he's back. He's the best player in the world. So, that's exactly why we need him back. It makes life way much, way more easier. Just, he can score a goal off his bum if he wants to. He can score it off his head, back of his head, anything. He can somehow find the back of the net. So, we need Ronaldo back. But, yeah, it is what it is. You agree with that? That's crazy. We have Ronaldo. Um, if City had Sancho, Ronaldo, Moscio, Cavani. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh! I think they might score over two hundred goals. Yeah, I think they might have scored over two hundred league goals this season. 
yeah. I don't know what's happening with United, but yeah, we desperately need him, you know. Yeah, I know what's happening at United. One is our own, and two is the midfield. <laughs> mm. So yeah, it's unfortunate, really. Also, before we give the score prediction, Mr. Google is telling me that there's a 21% chance that Brentford can win this game. There's a 25% chance that there's a draw, but a 54% chance that United win this game. United have only won two of the last five Premier League games. Drawn two, lost one. As for Brighton, they've only won last one of the last five games and have lost the other four. So, Mr. Belot, what is your score prediction? I think we're going to pick on Brentford. Yeah, no. All right. It's going to be interesting. I think, as I said, I think we'll, we'll pick on, 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 on Brentford, but... I don't think we're gonna have an amazing performance. I'm done thinking we're gonna have amazing performances <laughs> with the in the season, you know. And hopefully we see more progress, you know. But you know, yeah, it, it is boring because I feel like at this moment in time anyone can beat us. <laughs> That's just the reality, you know. But I think overall we'll probably be the better team. Just Brentford will have the over that moment, maybe they'll get a goal. But uh, I want to say they won't. I'm gonna go for a two 0 United. I'd like a clean sheet. Uh, I always like a clean sheet at United. It's a uh, it's a real call. Um, comedy from here. Uh, ish. Tough one, this one for me. United, Brentford, tough one. I think Ronaldo's back to win this game. <laughs> I think Ronaldo's back to win this game because it's Ronaldo. If Ronaldo's not back, we might be in some trouble, I'll be honest with you. We might be in some trouble. So, we're going to hope Ronaldo's back. We're going to hope we see some better plays, better performances. And I think that because... You know, United players work in cycles and they've been pretty shite for the last few games. We might get that good game, you know. We might get that Scott good game or that Fred good game or the Maguire good game because, you know, they do get that one good game every now and then. So I think it, hopefully this is the good game. I can't deal with any more bad games, really. Please, please, United. Don't, don't do this to me. You know, not in a double game. Can we really, really need points? So if we can't beat a 14th place Brentford, ah, just, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. So let's just see what happens. But I'm gonna go with a two-one United. So let's just see what happens. Um, but anyways, I think it's been a good show. Um, is there anything else you wanna say, Maloto? Don't think so. So with that, do subscribe, do smash a like, and I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye.